Hello Myrmidons, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an October's gratitude. I know so many people on YouTube do like favorites videos each month, but to be honest, I really don't use that many like products or really different things to have a favorites video every single month. But one thing that I can consistently do every month is to talk about things that I'm grateful for the month. So over the past few months, I've been trying to be more aware about being grateful for things. And so I started a gratitude journal and that's really helped me to see all of the things that I'm grateful for and just appreciate the little things in life. So I wanna share with you guys what I'm grateful for in October. At the very beginning of the month, I went to a Paramore concert and that was something that I was really excited about and something that I had been wanting to do for years. So just being able to go and having such an awesome time was definitely the highlight of my month. Also in October was my anniversary or my dating anniversary with my husband. We celebrated 13 years this year and we went to the Atlanta Botanical Gardens to celebrate and that was really nice. They had a really cute um, scarecrow like exhibition going on and the weather was nice and it was just a really good time. I've never been to the gardens before so that was really fun and we both had a really good time. Another thing that I'm really grateful for that happened earlier this month or towards the end of September was I got back in touch with one of my old friends that we had kind of stopped talking and it was kind of my fault that we had stopped talking and I had just been thinking about her so much and you know I just texted her bit the bullet I was like hey I'm so sorry but I really miss being your friend like do you want to hang out and we did we went to a farmer's market um, like the first time we hung out and we actually ended up hanging out for four hours after the farmer's market we went to Starbucks and chatted and then we went to go see a movie together and it was just so much fun and then a couple weeks after that I went over to her house and we like uh, wrote in our planners like you know prettied up our planners <laughs> together because she's really crafty like I am and it was so good it seriously felt like no time had passed and I honestly felt like I was in high school again. So I'm so happy to have her friendship back. Definitely one of the things that I'm super grateful for this month. So those are the big things that I'm grateful for this month, but some of the smaller things are the weather is changing. Fall is my second favorite season after spring, of course, and just seeing the leaves change and the weather cooling down, you know, like it's sweater weather again, you can wear scarves and stuff. So I love fall and just since the weather has been changing, my mood has been so much better. And um, you know, it's just so amazing that I, first of all, live in a place that actually experiences the seasons change. And secondly, just that it's, you know, so nice and that I can appreciate it. Cause not everyone can, but if you really appreciate the weather and you know the environment around you then it can be something that you really uh, appreciate and feel grateful for so when i was on my way to my friend's house a couple weeks ago i saw a rainbow and guys i have not seen a rainbow in years i can't even tell you how long it's been it's been at least five years and just seeing the rainbow made me so happy just seeing it made my day also this month i broke my reading drought I used to read all of the time, but within the past like four-ish years, I just haven't really been reading that much. And it's just, it's bothered me. Like I got a book this year or earlier this year, I got it for Christmas and it took me at least nine months to finish it. And that's just not like me. But I recently got a new book. It is Paper Towns by John Green. And I finished it in about a month. So that's not that fast for like how quickly I used to read. But it's a huge improvement from what I was doing earlier this year or even a couple of years ago. So I'm super grateful that my reading drought has finally broken. And honestly, the key is to finding a book that I actually like. The book that I was reading that took me forever to read, I realized I didn't like it and I was just forcing myself to continue reading it because I don't like to leave. I don't like to start books and not finish them. 
So from now on, if I don't like a book that I start reading, I'm just gonna toss it aside and get a new book. I'm not gonna struggle through it again for so long. And the last thing that I'm grateful for is all of my new subscribers that I've gotten this month. So if you're new here, welcome to Naturally Mermaid. I'm so happy to have you here. And I hope you guys are enjoying hanging around and watching some of my older videos and whatnot. But thank you so much for subscribing. Really appreciate you being here. And hopefully we can have more fun in the future and whatnot. I think that's about it for me. And in case you guys were wondering, I'm just hanging out at this park around town. I thought that the weather was really nice and I wanted to film outside today. So hope you guys kind of like the change of scenery. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below, what are you grateful for this month? It can be big or it can be small, anything, as long as you're grateful for something in your life. It makes it so much easier and so much more enjoyable when you're happy and when you're in a good mood and when you, know, you can be thankful for what you do have rather than stressing about what you don't have. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.